Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Science and Math Nepal. In this channel, we discuss about science and math, including optional math from class 5 to class 12. Previously, in our video, I provided you some answers to SEA oriented group A very short questions asked of one marks each and group B short questions asked of two marks each from chapter 4 grade 10 science we discussed 10 very short question answers and 10 short question answers this is the continuations of the previous video in the pre previously we discussed group A and group B today we are going to discuss group C long questions that are asked of 3 marks each from chapter 4. Today's question is a numerical. Let's do it. The gravitational force produced between two bodies is 25 Newton when they are at distance of 4 meter. How much gravitational force is produced when they are kept 2 meter apart? Calculate. Here in this question, what it is asking is, there are two bodies. Let us suppose, this is body 1 with mass m1 and this is another body with mass m2. And the distance between their centers is, let us suppose d1. It is 4 meter. When the distance is d1, the gravitational force is 25 newton. It is asking that if the distance is reduced, it means with the same mass m1 and m2, if the distance is reduced to 2 meter, then what will be the gravitational force? Let's calculate solution. given when distance let us suppose d1 equals to 4 meter at that time gravitational force let us suppose f1 equals to 25 newton and when distance let us suppose d2 equals to 2 meter then gravitational force let us suppose F2 equals to what? We need to calculate it. Now, by Newton's universal law of gravitation, we know gravitational force F equals to G M1 M2 by D square. Or we can write F1 equals to G M1 M2 by d1 square now let us insert the value or 25 newton equals to g m1 m2 by value of d1 is 4 meter that's why 4 square or 25 newton equals to g m1 m2 by 16. Let us suppose it be equation 1. Also, we can write F2 equals to G M1 M2 divided by D2 square or F2 equals to G m1 m2 divided by the value of d2 is 2 2 square or 
एफ टू इक्वल्स टू जी एम वन एम टू डिवाइड बाई फोर लेट एस सपोज इक्वेशन टू इन ऑर्डर टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ डेवर्स फोर्स वेन द डिस्टेंस इज टू मीटर अपार्ट वट शुड वी डू इज डिवाइडिंग इक्वेशन टू बाई वन विल गेट एफ टू डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इक्वल्स टू जी एम वन एम टू बाई फोर डिवाइड बाई जी एम वन एम टू डिवाइड बाई सिक्सटीन और एफ टू डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू इफ मेन डिवाइड साइन इज चेंज इन टू मल्टीपल फॉर्म देन द फ्रैक्शन एट डिनोमिनेटर प्रेसिपो पास इट मीन्स जी एम वन एम टू डिवाइड बाई फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन डिवाइड बाई जी एम वन एम टू सिंस दे आर मल्टीपल फॉर्म जी एम वन एम टू कैन बी कैंसल फ्रॉम द न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर ऑल्सो फोर वन जो फोर 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 जो सिक्सटीन और एफ टू इक्वल्स टू फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई देर फोर एफ टू इक्वल्स टू वन हंड्रेड न्यूटन हेन्स द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स produced is 100 newton our next question is question number 22 it is also a numerical let's see The mass and radius of Jupiter is 1.9 into 10 to the power 27 kg and 71 into 10 to the power 6 meter respectively. Find the acceleration due to gravity of it. Here, according to this question, mass of the Jupiter is 1.9 into 10 to the power 27 kg and radius of Jupiter is 71 into 10 to the power 6 meter. We need to find the acceleration due to gravity. solution let's write the given first given mass of jupiter let us suppose m equals to 1.9 into 10 to the power 27 kg radius of Jupiter. Let us suppose r equals to seventy-one into ten to the power six meter. We need to find the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gra due to gravity. G equals to what? Now, we know the formula for acceleration due to gravity. That is, g equals to g m by r square, or g equals to g. Here, capital letter G is universal gravitational constant. Its value is always constant. That is, six point six seven into ten to the power minus eleven. Newton meter square per kg square into m. Value of m is 1.9 into 10 to the power 27 kg divided by radius r is 71 into 10 to the power 6 square. So square or g equals to first. Multiply six point six seven into one point nine. 
the value is six point six seven into one point nine uh, value is twelve point six seven three now multiply the remaining 10 to the power minus 11 in 10 to the power 27 if base is same power gets added it means 10 to the power minus 11 plus 27 at the denominator since they are in multiplication form this square is for both 71 as well as 10 to the power 6 71 square is 5041 into here 10 to the power becomes 6 to the 12 or g equals to dividing 12.673 by 5041 12.673 will get 2.5151 into 10 to the power minus 3 into here minus 11 plus 27 is 10 to the power 16 if 10 to the power 12 goes up then it becomes minus 12 or g equals to 2.51 into 10 to the power minus 3 16 minus 12 is 4 that's why plus 4 or g equals to 2.51 into 10 or uh, therefore g equals to 25.1 meter per second square you can write hence acceleration due to gravity of Jupiter is 25.1 meter per second square you can write approximately 25 meter per second square elsewhere Okay, now third questions. This is also a numerical. The question is, the mass of Jupiter is 319 times than mass of the Earth, and its radius is 11 times greater than radius of Earth. If the acceleration due to gravity on Earth's surface is 9.8 meter per second square, calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Jupiter. Let's do it. Solution. First, let's suppose let mass of Earth equals to m e and radius of Earth equals to r e. Then, according to the equation mass of Jupiter let us say mj will be 319 m e and radius of Jupiter will be let us suppose rj it will be 100 sorry 11 times the radius of the now what it is given is acceleration due to gravity of earth let us suppose g e is given 9.8 meter per second square we need to find out acceleration due to gravity of 
into Peter. Let us say G J equals to what? Now we know the formula for calculation of the acceleration due to gravity that is G equals to G M by R square or in case of the Jupiter we can write G J equals to G M J by R J square or G J equals to G three hundred nineteen M E by eleven R E whole square. or g j equals to 319 g m e divided by 121 r e square or g j equals to 319 divided by 121 g m e by r e square let us suppose equation 1 now g equals to g m by r square for that also we can write ascending to gravity of the earth equals to g mass of the earth by radius of the earth whole square this is equation Two. Now using equation one, sorry, using equation two, equation one becomes G J equals to three hundred nineteen divided by one hundred twenty one G E. Here G E means G M E by R E square. G M E by R E square. Or G J equals to 319 divided by 121 is 319 divided by 121 is 2.64 into value of G E is 9.8. Multiplying with 9.8 will get g j equals to 25.84 meter per second square hence acceleration due to gravity of jupiter is 25.84 meter per second square okay that's all for today in the next video i'll be discussing more group c long questions from chapter 4 secret 10 science that are asked of three marks each in se if you like this video or if you want more of the video like this like share subscribe and press notification button.